Jack Dorsey, the co-founder of Twitter, has plans to come out with Web 5. Yes, you heard me right. Not Web 4, but Web 5. This Web 5 platform will be built on top of Bitcoin's Lightning network, and it will be completely decentralized. In this particular video, I will be deep diving into what Web 5 is. Is it just for the hype, or is there something really to offer? And I will also be talking about the most important question, which is where is Web 4? We were just trying to catch up with what Web 3 is, and Web 5 just came in with a storm. Jack Dorsey has come out with Web 5. Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki, and if you're new here, I make content about finance, crypto, tech, and all the other things. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make Sure to subscribe to this channel and also make sure to like this video and comment if you think Web five is just for hype. Now, before understanding Web five, it is extremely important that you understand the basic concepts behind what Web one, Web two, Web three are. So, in brief, Web one was the period where you could only see the information that was being posted on the internet. For example, news websites which only provided information and you could not interact with it. Then came Web two, which was all about interacting with other people. You could share. your posts you could share things off from the internet for example facebook instagram and after that came web3 which is all about blockchains decentralization and cryptos you know the major problem that web3 was solving was that web2 was too much centralized all of our personal data all of our things were stored on their centralized servers so web3 wanted to solve this problem by keeping it completely decentralized your personal data was yours and you were anonymous on this particular the network other than this web3 also promised decentralization which meant that everyone was equal and everyone had the same rights but if you look at the current scenario in web3 it's not that decentralized to be honest all of the major crypto projects have a huge stake of the silicon valley vcs and other big investors it is really difficult for individuals like you and i to have an equal stake in these projects this problem was identified by jack dorsey and he wants to solve this by making web5 so what exactly is web5 Web5 will be completely decentralized. On Web3 you have so many tokens, so many cryptocurrencies that people start investing in it and start gaining a higher stake in them. However, on Web5 there will be no tokens at all. But then the other question is where is Web4? Jack Dorsey just decided to come out with Web5 instead of Web4 and he just skipped all over it. But Jack Dorsey being quite a good leader and a CEO He has faced a lot of backlash on his views on freedom of speech and also censoring a lot of people's voices. So I'm not sure how this will translate onto Web5 and if the vision is to make Web5 completely decentralized and have equal stakes for everyone. then i feel that freedom of speech would be something that they would have to work upon now web5 platform will have two core things to offer one is controlling your own identity and second is the ownership of your own personal data just like with web3 you will also have wallets on web5 so say for example i want to connect with an app which is built on web5 i won't have to reveal all of my social details instead just send them whatever they need for the application to run this is a small snippet of how they will be able to give control back to the users about their own identity and their data but there are a lot of different things that are being promised by Jack Dorsey and the block team so let's see what happens next till then if you want to catch up with web3 you can check out my video on how to become a blockchain developer there's a complete road map that i've given in that particular video